Hey guys, so uh, I know the world is uh, kind of on fire right now, so uh, let's <laughs> set the tone and play War for Cybertron. Wow, that those textures sure haven't loaded in. <laughs> oh my god, that looks awful. Oh my god. What an intro. That's how the game is, dude. <laughs> oh my god. Holy my vision's shit. been fucked this whole time. <laughs> What the fuck is going on? I thought it was just me. But good, good to know that I'm not losing my eyesight. What the? F <laughs> oh, here we go. We've got Omega Supreme's foot in focus. <laughs> That's what matters. Um, Omega Supreme is so powerful, he actually destroys the textures <laughs> <laughs> of the entirety of the. Planet. Not only does he have porn in his hard drive, he also has the power of reforming the entire planet's textures. <laughs> Omega is quite a guy. <laughs> so how you been doing, man? How's things been uh, bruising and chilling? If anyone ever says that. No one says that ever, <laughs> but I'm doing fine. <laughs> just, just goes to show how old I'm slowly becoming. And I'm only 21. <laughs> I remember when I played, I spent like way too long trying to work out how to kill him. You're just like, you've just got to shoot these pods on the yeah, side. I spent an ungodly amount of time trying to, <laughs> trying to kill him. As a kid, you're like, I can do this, I can do this, mom. And your mom's like, you got to hit those fucking pods on the side, mate. My mom's a real gamer. She's like, what the f- are you fu What's wrong with you, idiot? <laughs> <laughs> and she's British as well, because I was like, what are you doing, mate? What are you doing, mate? I think- I think you gotta knock those sides off first, yeah? Yeah, why is my mum British? <laughs> <laughs> Something your family never told you. <laughs> you had to learn from a very young age. <laughs> Megatron's like, Oh my god, he's huge! Everyone fire! <laughs> Men, I have made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgement. Omega Supreme actually looks like a clitoris. Like, I'm not even joking. Like, I'm not doing that for- That is a very <laughs> specific comparison. No, I mean- Out of all the things- I remember seeing a diagram of it as a kid, because you do that. And <laughs> <laughs> it looks exactly like- Can I just thank you so much, because in the unlikely event I ever see one, which I won't- <laughs> I'm gonna think of Omega Supreme now, so thank you for that. Thank you for that <laughs> insightful <laughs> message. You'd you'd just be with your girlfriend, you're like, honey, why does your vagina look like Omega Supreme? And she'd be like, <laughs> damn, go. <girl. laughs> She'll be like, baby, you're an Omega Supreme. <laughs> Get it, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you're Omega and Supreme. Oh, I just complimented you there. If she doesn't say that, she's not the girl for you, uh, Bolt. I've just gotta let you know. If a girl doesn't, if a girl doesn't like, <laughs> it doesn't like Transformers, <laughs> then what are you even doing? No, honestly, it, it can be kind of a deal breaker. I mean, Transformers, it's like, it don't matter. I mean, I, I've been with girls who have been terrified when they woke up in the morning with a Transformers poster staring at them. You know, just Bumblebee's face like, hey, I'm, this guy's in a Transformer. <laughs> it's one thing, like, it can be kind of a deal breaker though sometimes, because you've got, like, relationships, couples for sure. I mean, I follow this group on Facebook. Transformers addicts and uh, guys are always talking about how their girlfriends buy him like uh, Transformers toys like figures. Oh, that's cute Guys do find girls like that. I mean, I don't know why it's a stereotype that um, guys can't find uh, You know great girls who uh, don't mind them being into Transformers. I mean It's not <laughs> happened to me yet but... <laughs> Where are they? <laughs> I have to find them <laughs> You need to find me a cute Transformers GF, where are they? <laughs> See, this is what I hated about the game. You really wanted to carry the gun with you all over the place. Like, I want to take it, but it's like, you can't transform while having it. Yeah, yeah, that was the doubt. It's, you're so slow. It's like, it's an instant win, but it's also so fucking slow. Everyone's in front of you and you're just like, Hey guys, <laughs> wait for me. <laughs> I'm, I'm almost here. <laughs> Uh, I've got something to show you here, and this is going to show you how problematic I was as a child. Oh god, help me. What I used to do with my uh, toys. So, I used to be a big fan, and I emphasise used to be, a fan of Doctor Who. There was so many toys, and I used to collect them like mad. Like crazy mad. And sometimes yeah. I would take it a bit too seriously. Like the whole scenario of what I was doing either Daleks versus Cybermen or Daleks versus Transformers. I used to have a very crazy and vivid imagination where it got a bit too chaotic. <laughs> what the fuck did you do? I, I found it the other day buried in my um, a bunch of abandoned toys. <laughs> what did they do to it? <laughs> and I'm like, what happened to this Dalek? He, he did not deserve 
my level of torture. I mean, he must have done something wrong. I don't know. He must have done something to deserve that it. That guy is a, is a fucking dictator. <laughs> fucking... Dalek trauma. That's, that was his name as, as, as a child. I mean, dude, I used to get pretty into it as well, but I never fucking dug them under the, the dirt. <laughs> like, what are you doing? I used to set them on fire. I used to, like, drown them. Oh, my God. I was that what kid from fuck? Toy Story. I was Sid. Like, they were my... You were. Straight up. Can you imagine these toys? They were frightened of me as a kid. I wonder why. Optimus Prime was, like, <laughs> telling all the Autobots to fucking roll out away from me because I was going to kill them. <laughs> oh, no, what? Save yourself. <laughs> You ever notice some of your toys went missing, Cam? That's why I know. They, they got out. That's why they got out. I mean, I'm the worst version of Toy Story. <laughs> it's It's been crazy. I mean, I was telling you a few playthroughs ago, but I've been selling my Transformers toys. But I've slowly started becoming an addict of buying them again and selling them. <laughs> What's the point? I went into B&M the other day, and I was looking to buy a particular plants because I've been starting growing plants now. That's just... That's just yeah. how my life has become. I'll tell you the name of my plant, actually, in a bit, and I'll show you a picture of it, and I think it's really cool. I think it's not to brag or anything, but I think it's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> but I went to a and m and I saw a bunch of uh, toys, two Studio Series side swipes, uh, the Dark of the Moon version, and they were only £10. And I'm like, B&M don't know that. These go for £20. And then I sold them on eBay for, like, uh, £10 extra, and I'm like, this is an absolute win. <laughs> it's just fucking like marking up prices just swindling people <laughs> I mean a man needs money <laughs> so I'm I mean if B&M ain't gonna do it I'm gonna do it you know <laughs> not even apologetic I'll talk about my plant <laughs> when you run out of things to talk about I've got two pots with sunflower seeds three in each pot oh you you, you are, you're serious I thought you were kidding alright Oh no! I used to garden a lot as a kid. Like I, I'm the reason why my grandma has a great empire of plants. <laughs> but I don't like plants that are fake. I think people who buy fake plants don't have good intentions, or they don't want responsibility. And I think it's like, ah, you know, it's kind of an insult to real plants. No, but I get it though. Like plants are purely decoration, and they just die. So like, why not just buy like a the one that won't die. You don't have to yeah, but that, that's a thing, Diamond Ball. That things die. Things do die. No. Like, nothing is forever. Um, but it's like a child. You you know, you you grow it and then it dies. But you get another one. And, you know, it's... Let's not talk about kids dying. Let's talk about plants. <laughs> Back to the plant. It's a, a dragon's tongue from a hemogriff's family. I decided to name my plant Yomengander. Short for Yomi. Right. And my mum's like, what the fuck is a Yomangander? <laughs> that was going to be my next question. <laughs> Yomangander is the world serpent in Norse mythology. And it looks really good. It's got like green on the top and it's got purple colouring underneath. <laughs> the epic origin story. And I am very unique with names, as you can clearly tell with my cat, Gary. That's actually, I didn't actually come up with him. It's my, so... The origins behind my cat called Gary. <laughs> I will call him Gary. So this is going to be really complicated. <laughs> Gary is a long story. Yeah. Well, the, the reason why they gave him the name is actually not that complicated. It's because of Gary the Snail. That's literally the reason. He is my stepdad's twin's cat. But he can't look after him anymore. And he has been given to me and my dad. And this guy, Gary, he is a fucking little shit. I call him a little monster or an imp at best. He always meows at me all the time. He's constantly meowing like at one o'clock in the morning and it's gone to the point where he meows so much where I've started making conversations out of it. What? What is it Gary? Yes I know she left you but I can't do anything about it. She's just gonna I know. Just don't cry about it. Gary, you've got this. You've got this. Trust me, you are a good cat. She, she's, she's missing out. <laughs> it's okay, Gary. It's alright. I think one of the main reasons why I like Wolf Cybertron is the fact that um, you do get to choose who you want to play, but at the same time, it's kind of like, it's not focused. I like what Fall Cybertron did. Like, I like it better how you... Um, it's like 
one level for each rather than five and then five or whatever it is. I think Rise of a Dark Spark did everything better. Um, you you never finished that, did you? Like people, I, I saw comments of people saying, "When is Diamond Bolt yeah. gonna finish Rise of a Dark Spark?" I've been uh, I'm still being asked that like fifty years later. No, I never did because uh, it wasn't doing well view wise, and also the game fucking sucks. So, <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's not like it's not terrible. It's just it's so like such a low um, standard in comparison to Fall of Cybertron. I know it wasn't done by the same guys. I'm sure they did their best, but like it's the same it's the same problem as um as this right of, as what we're saying is that you start off with like the. Uh, the movie guys and then you go to the or is it the other way around i can't remember yeah yeah you pretty much switch around i mean it, it you mostly what the fuck am i shooting at oh right <laughs> only now have you started questioning it i mean no i mean obviously game development is is hard i mean it's not easy making a game but at the same time it's still shit <laughs> <laughs> i mean it, it's, it's just, it was just so boring. It was even as a it came out in two thousand fourteen, and I remember we were, me and Lewis were still enthusiastic about the Transformers movies. But I remember with the game like, oh yeah, Rise of Darksburg. But even watching the trailer, I thought this looked crap. You know, I thought oh, I was so hyped for it. I remember I was so excited. I remember some great days on multiplayer on Wolf Cybertron and Full Cybertron. Oh, I never tried the multiplayer. I wish I did. Really? That is, that is surprising. Like, me and Lewis, we would be all over, you know, Wolf Cybertron. Like, they do waves up to 100 in Escalation, and we would try and attempt to do it, you know. But eventually, though, you do grab it, because it's like, if the community's not as hyped as it used to be, you do kind of lose that enthusiasm. Um, <laughs> Because people stopped playing it, and that's why they shut the servers down at the end of the day. Like, I understand how tragic and sad it is that they did it, but they did it for a reason. It's because there was barely any people playing. You never realise how much you love something until it's gone. <laughs> I never wanted to play it until after they shut it down. I mean, um, when my grandma died, I didn't feel much, but I mean, I guess you got a point. <laughs> Jesus, man. Jesus, I was talking about a game, dude. Jesus. No, she's alive. I, I said she was alive in the last playthrough, I promise. I, she is still alive. <laughs> well, I, I don't know. I, I haven't checked on her recently, but I'm pretty sure she's still alive. <laughs> you may want to do that, dude. <laughs> Maybe just send her a message, be like, hey, you good? And she's like, I haven't heard from you in 40 years. It's like... <laughs> Last time you helped me out was my garden. That's all you cared about was my garden. Like, yeah, Grandma. <laughs> nah, she's chill. She actually went outside the other day. I was talking to her and she says, Guess what I did? And I go, What? She goes, I went shopping for the first time since the whole lockdown. And she's describing it like she went out in a war zone. <laughs> Ooh, Grandma, you're entering a war zone there. You gotta be careful. And I was actually calling her a dumb bitch. I was like, you've got to be fucking oh careful, my, woman. Oh, my God. It legit was a fucking war zone. People actually have stopped giving a fuck about it because I've seen people go out willy-nilly because the UK is in the third phase of lockdown where they've kind of eased it a little bit. Tragic. How stupid they all are. <laughs> yeah. Stupidity is yeah. a gift humanity has given itself. I think, uh, I think we're all being punished for, you know, cats. I think that's what it, this entire year is like us, the entire planet being punished for the release of cats. Hang on, I'm just shooting Omega Supreme's dick, yeah. I always used to do this. <laughs> oh, nice, dude. <laughs> nice, dude. That was show him. Hell yeah, that shows you. Don't mess with the Decepticons. Yeah, that'll <sighs> fucking show him. I had a nightmare about not having my front teeth last night. Oh my god, I have so many nightmares about my teeth going missing. I'm so glad it's not me. <laughs> it's not just me. The scary thing about it though was because I actually thought I woke up from the dream of having no teeth. And they are very sharp. Like, they are deadly. If I bite you with my teeth, you will bleed. And it's only gentle. <laughs> Cam's greatest, greatest superpower. And I woke up thinking, wait. And I checked my teeth as soon as I woke up. I was like, do I have them? And I was like, oh, thank God. <laughs> are my teeth still here? <laughs> I'm glad I'm not the only one who has that nightmare then. I keep having dreams about my teeth going missing. It scares the shit out of me. I, I, I do the same as you. I wake up and I'm like, are they still there? Okay, thank God. <laughs> I don't want to get old, man. 
I'm thinking after this, after we finish it, I'll do a best of. I, well, I've done it with every series I've done anyway. I'll do a best of um, uh, playthrough. Oh, yeah, no, good idea. Yeah, like a week after maybe or a few days after. Um, I'm thinking of started doing individual character ones. Like uh, I was going to do a best of Daniel playthrough, who I used to do it with. And I was going to do a best of Diamond Bolt playthrough and best of Lewis. Well, there isn't a best of Lewis, but I was thinking of possibly considering <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm kidding. I was going to actually include Lewis in this playthrough as a third-person cop. You know, if we were to do it, I was going to have him. But obviously, Activision said, "Fuck that logic." Somewhere in an alternate universe, we do get to play this game together. There was one comment I saw: Diamond Ball and Common and Cam are cute together. <laughs> I responded saying, "I try really hard to make the marriage work." <laughs> yeah, yeah, I actually saw that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. And then you got really upset when someone said, the best Transformers creators. And you're like, I'm not a Transformers creator. <laughs> not anymore. <laughs> Stop doing this to me. He talks about Garfield oh, now. Nah. Fucking arsehole. Shut up. That was one video. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> He's deflated. He's gone back to commercials. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, one video. One video. That's all I promise. Imagine making Transformers videos. I know. You have to be such a loser. <laughs> Fucking loser? What are you, dumb? <laughs> You've got to be like a one grade loser. Like, you must have no life. I mean, no family, no kids. <laughs> <laughs> what is this voice you're doing? Nah, it's not. I mean... Yes, it is. No, it is. <laughs> so, uh, the game capture froze, so that was great. Fucking God, you idiot. You dumb poo poo head. You fucking stupid shithead. <laughs> you poo poo dumb stinky head. You fucking loser you are. You fucking dumb. You don't know how to play. You don't even know how to record. <laughs> ah man, man, I just. Uh, sometimes I just wake up in the morning and I just want to shoot myself. <laughs> <laughs> that took me a second. I was like, wait a minute, what? Huh? <laughs> What the fuck's he talking about? What did you just say? I don't know. Just go along with it. Just pretend to laugh at my jokes. <laughs> sure, pity laugh. If you had time, we would be able to do the final chapter of this because I remember the Omega Supreme fight is very quick. But it depends if you have enough time because of your brother. Who always minutes. gets in the way of our plans, you evil I, I, got, I, got, I, got, I got 40 minutes. I got 40 minutes. I got 40 minutes, it's bad. Do you actually go to sleep quite early then? Are you normal? <laughs> no, no, no. I've still got to... I have to finish the script, is all. I've just... Uh, oh, check him out. Fucking script. Check you out, Mr. Fucking... What, you think, I'm, you think I'm this funny just naturally? No. I have to write jokes? I actually have to write? Everything's scripted, bro. It's <laughs> Nah, to be honest, that's why my videos are shit, because they're not. <laughs> are they not? Really? No. No, What, you not, just, no. like, turn on the, the, the fucking, like, recording, and you're just like, hi, guys. <laughs> and then you just... Yeah. Just no, really? no, I do. <laughs> yeah. Seriously? Been, that's cool as been, hell. What are you talking about? That's awesome. I've been doing it for years. <laughs> there have only been a few videos where I have scripted it, but I've not even scripted it. I've just bullet pointed it. Um, uh, a lot of people do do that, I think. A lot of people just write, like, bullet... Like, normal people will just write bullet points. I don't. <laughs> I have to write out everything. But that's okay. I did, a, I did a video recently about the Transformers video game that was rumoured to be coming out. Um, and it got over 20k, and that's, like, the first video in a while that's actually got that kind of attention. And I just... I just... Literally, the only reason why I did it was because I was just thinking about it. And I thought, alright, this might charge a conversation it might get me some good views and good recognition because i haven't spoke about it in a while and i literally put the mic on and i just started talking <laughs> and I, I i and obviously i do it in one take and if i don't like what i said i redo it and but i reword it properly um proper properly well yeah yeah, that's actually super impressive, dude. Honestly, I gotta say. I thought it was just lazy. Like, I, I've never, every time I open the... No, no, not at all. That's actually, like, if anything, I'd say it's, like, a, a testament to the fact that you can still be entertaining without having prepped it all beforehand. Well, I've always been a good improviser at school. Like, I loved drama as a kid. That's that's 
maybe that's a contributor to it. I mean, I got an A on my uh, final performance in drama. And the only reason I got an A, I'll tell you this. This is actually quite a funny story. I love acting, but I hate scripted. Um, I, 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 hate, I hate plays, um, mainly because of the pressure of having to remember everything. And even though I got an A on that performance, it still haunted me up to the point of evaluation that I was going to forget a line. I think actors that do plays in, like, theatre, really good memory. Like, they deserve so much praise. Oh, it's incredible. I don't know how they do it. Well, the thing is, I somehow managed to do it in a 30-minute performance. And I remember there was a certain scene, and we did a rehearsal, and I did the rehearsal fantastically. But when it came to the actual evaluation, I accidentally mixed up scene two with scene six. And I don't know why, I don't know how my brain triggered, but I just accidentally did scene six to begin with instead of scene two but the way how i improvised it the examiner board didn't notice see the thing is that i had a, a girlfriend at the time well kind of girlfriend we were fucking complicated as fuck at school but it still meant a lot that she was there for my performance and i remember she gave me the eyes of like you've got this still i mean you fucked up but you've got this oh, I, I always talk about that, like how i can improvise anything on the spot you know give me the right vibes and the right mood and i could talk about anything I think the game just froze. Yeah, the game. <laughs> 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 hell, nah, dude. man, I'm not. I'm not. Are you kidding me? I nah, I'm not doing this. We'll, we'll just do the next play. <laughs> we'll, just, we'll just do the next one. <laughs> this is how it ends. What are you talking about? This is how. This is how it happens. Fuck this. This shit. is how the level ends. It just everything freezes and dies, and everyone dies. Hang on, I'm going to have to turn off the game and turn it on again. Hang on, I'll be back. What did you do to your PS3? This is fucking stupid. <laughs>